What is up guys and welcome back to Nuigen Plus. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer your PS Vita save data to your Vita 3K emulator. Uh, in order to get this started, you're going to need a couple of tools. Uh, you're going to need a, one of the things that you're going to need mainly is a hack PS Vita. You're also going to need, as you guys can see right here, let me pull the screen right here of the Vita so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you're going to need a hack PS Vita. You also are going to need this application called Save uh, Manager Plus. You also are going to need a FTP client or you could just use a USB cable. Um, whatever to your liking, USB cable or you could use an FTP client. For my taste, I like to use the FTP client. So now let me show you how to get this started. First, you need to go on your PS Vita, and you need to go to Vita Show. Inside of Vita Show, you got to press Select to enable the FTP Climb. If you don't have an FTP Climb, you would like to use your USB cable. You could press Start, and you could select right here. If you're going to be in USB mode or FTP, I'm going to be on FTP. I'm going to press Select. I'm going to press OK. Now going back to my computer and I'm going to open my FTP client and I'm going to log into my PS Vita. All right, I'm inside my PS Vita. And now I'm going to navigate inside of my Vita 3K folder. As you guys can see, I'm already inside of the folder. There you go. I'm inside of the folder. Right here, as you guys can see, I don't have any save data for my Soul Sacrifice Delta. Let me show you the game that we're going to be testing. We're going to be testing Soul Sacrifice Delta. As you guys can see, I had no save data in here. Okay. Transferring your save data from your PS Vita to your emulator Vita 3K, you could do so by using, again, the FTP client or USB. But... If you transfer the save da data just by copying and pasting your save data inside of the PSB 3K folder, uh, the, the save data is not going to load, it's not going to boot. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm referring to. And the reason why that doesn't work is because the save data of the PSB data is encrypted. Uh, Beta 3K can only read save data that are decrypted. So I'm going to give you an example right now. I'm gonna go right here to my PS Vita. Right here, this is my PS Vita. And my, I'm, I'm gonna navigate you to the main menu so you guys can see where to find your save data. So when you connect your PS Vita either through USB or using FTP client, this is what you're gonna be welcome with. You're gonna go to UXX0. Your save data is gonna be under user. So we're gonna navigate to find user. Now you're gonna go to the folder 000. Now you're going to click on save data. Right here, you're going to find your save data. For Soul Sacrifice Delta, uh, the save data is labeled with a title ID. Right now, as you guys can see right here, is 0152. That's the last four for my Soul Sacrifice Delta save data. So now, right here, we're going to look at exactly for that folder. So we're going to look for 0152. Boom, right here. We're going to copy that folder. And we're going to paste it right here on my Vita 3K folder. Let me paste it. Click OK. OK. It's transferring the folder. As you guys can see right here, it's transferring the folder. So after we got that folder transferred, we're going to go back to the emulator and we're going to start the game. I'm showing you this so you guys can see that just transferring the save data is not going to make this work. That's why you're going to need to do this, uh, the step to make it work. So we're going to load the game and we're going to see some stuff. And I also, I'm going to give you a tip that will make this work flawlessly without many errors. So now that we inside Soul Sacrifice Delta, we're going to click on start. And you see that we have the option to click on continue because the save data is in here. I'm going to click on continue. And we're going to be received by this message. Low, there's no save data. We will click on new. 
it will say that it is it found an all save data inside uh, the save data folder. They get this message mostly because if you play the first game and you transfer information, everything is linked inside of the folder. That's why you can saw that message. But and we again, even by clicking new, we see that the save data do not work at all. So we will have to close the game and we need to go inside of the Vita 3K folder, find the save and delete it. So this is the Vita 3K folder and I'm going to delete the save. Boom, the data is deleted. So I recommend you guys to memorize where you have your PS, um, your beta 3K folder. I have it in one of my SSDs right here. And I also, I named the, the folder beta 3K so I could easily find it. And make sure you have this open so you could locate all your saved data. So it's basically the same thing as a PS Vita, the same folder. It's going to be UX0 user 00 save data. As you guys can see, there's no safe data in here. Now, this is very important for the majority of the game that I tested with this method. You need to do the following. You're gonna run the beta 3K again. After you run the emulator, we're gonna go in So Sacrifice Delta again. We're gonna click on start. Remember, we deleted the safe data. There's no safe data inside of this um, inside of the beta 3K emulator. There's no safe data at all. This is one of the things that I found out after doing a lot of trial and error, um, that testing this method for the past two days. This is what I found out. There's no phase data here at all. We cannot click on continue. We can only we only have the option to uh, to start a new game. If you're gonna transfer your save data, you need to create a save file. We're gonna need that save file. I'm gonna show you exactly what you're gonna need that save file in a few. Now that we created a save file, we're gonna click on new save and we're gonna create that save file. Done. We got a save file. Let me this a little bit and then I can just close the game. Now let me just go back here to my beta 3K folder. Yes, we see that the save data has been created and it's here. This save data right here is decrypted. So that's why the save data could be loaded and the beta 3K is going to recognize it. You guys saw me that save data was created. I had nothing. So I was getting the intro of the game. I need to start everything. Now, going back into your PS Vita, the tool that I mentioned, you're going to need to download this tool right here. I'm going to have everything downloaded in the video description with a folder directly to my Google Drive with all the tools that I'm utilizing right now. So you're going to need Save Data Manager Plus. I'm going to open the app. I'm going to click on Start. Now you're going to look for Soul Sacrifice Zelta, which is this one right here. I'm going to click on it. And we're going to click on backup. That's a backup that I created recently. So I'm going to delete that backup. So you guys can see. I'm going to leave that backup. That one I created uh, recently. Now, as you guys can see, there's no backup at all. I already deleted it. So we can start this from zero. I, I, could, I could show you exactly why this app is very important. Now, we're going to click on backup. It says backup save data to slot zero. We're going to click on confirm. The most important part of this, what you need to have this beta hack and have this app is because the app is going to do the following for you, which is it's necessary for the beta 3K. It's going to ask you, do you want to decrypt the safe? You're going to click on yes. Now you notice, boom, it's doing the backup. And right here, it says the safe data backup was created and it says DEC, which is mean decrypted. Now, after that is done, we're going to close the app and we're going to go back to beta shell. Inside of beta shell, we're going to, again, I'm doing FTP. So I'm going to press on select and I'm going to press on OK. Now, going back to the computer, I'm going to log into my PS Vita. I'm logging to my PS Vita. And now I'm going to show you where you're going to find the, the backup. We use the app. 
uh, let's say manager plus. So we're gonna go in UX zero. Inside UX zero, we're gonna go to data. That's where the app says the, in the information. Right here at the bottom, this is a folder, beta say manager. We're gonna click on it. And right here, this is the soul sacrifice delta say 0152. This is the same one that we have right here, 0152. Do not just simply copy and put it over here. Do not do that. You, what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this. And you're gonna place it in another folder. I'm gonna place it in another folder just so I could find it and mess with it. So I'm gonna open another window. So let's do this. We're gonna go here and let's put. Let's say I'm gonna put the information. I'm gonna put it. In. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here. I put it right here. I'm gonna paste it right here. Paste it right here. Boom. It's copying that from my PS Vita. Make sure you have it in a place where you could find it easily. I put it right here so I could find it easily so I don't misplace it and mix it with the other one because I do not want simply to copy it over because if you try to do that, the safe is not going to work. Let me refresh this real quick. Boom. Okay, the next thing that you would like to do is the following. We're going to close this out. Yes, close it. Now we're gonna open the folder right here with this PSB to save. We're gonna open a new directory. There we go. Now we're gonna go to where we had the beta 3K folder. Beta 3K, beta 3K, beta 3K. <clears throat> there we go. I'm gonna open the UXX0 again. We're gonna open that directory right now. Uh, I think I passed it. Oh, there we go. We're gonna go back where it says user zero zero save data. Now, right here, very important. Open the other folder that you just copy it. You notice that the folder we copied from the PSV that said it's locked zero. That's what we saved it when the system gave us a prompt. So we're gonna open this and we're gonna open the beta 3k folder. Very important right here. For it, for this specific game, it tells you that the save data is in slot z slot parent number one. That's what it's telling you here. So what you want to do is this right here has the data for your for your game. This has all the data for your game. You gotta make sure that when you copy a save, it's matching what you have in your you beat at 3k so you gotta be mindful where you save this information from your beta and what slot you have it on for in order for this to work properly you see that it says data 0001 it says 001 so it's because i'm in slot number one and that's the slot that i selected on the beta 3k this needs to match in order for this to work because this, this file right here for the specific game, it will tell the Vita 3K what save slot needs to load. So for example, if he says three and everything says three here and here says one, you will have to delete these two files right here and paste these over and change it to three so this can load it. So we confirm that all of this information here is under one just like this one right here is under one so after confirming that you just gotta grab this copy and we're gonna paste it because it's the same information but just to be safe remember this files right here i would recommend you actually delete this delete those And we're gonna copy this right here and we're gonna paste it right over here. Click on yes, the only ones we're gonna replace is those two that been. So we already know that we deleted these two files here and we transfer the other ones. If we get any error, we know it's this, so we just gotta delete this and just copy this and transfer it over. So now that we have that safe over, over here, we could open again the beta 3K. We're gonna open beta 3K. We're gonna start the game, we're gonna click on start.
Now we just gotta wait for the loading screen until it gets to the point where we could actually load the safe. And right here in this window right here in the background, it, it's letting you know what's going on, if it's looking for the safe, if anything's gonna go all right, it's gonna be run. It's looking, so when I click on start, we got the option for continue. That's a good need. That's that's good. We're gonna click on continue. Okay, this is here is gonna say tricky. That's the safe data information that the param file, this file right here has the slow param. It was on zero because we created a safe data so we could create all this information necessary here so for us in order to replace from the PS Vita to the Vita 3K. Don't get scared, you see this, you just click on it and you're gonna load the safe data. Press OK, load the data. After you load the data, remember, it was beginning of the game for us when I loaded the data. But look over here. As you guys can see, the data was successfully loaded. And look over here. If we go to the journal, remember, I got nothing when I transferred the save. I mean, when I created the save, first of all, I didn't have anything. It was empty. It was a brand new save. But right here, as you guys can see, this is my character name. This is all my spells. I have all of my stuff that I transferred from my PS Vita. Everything is in here. And right here, you can see also my game time. I put over, uh, I think, 170, 180 hours into this game. Let's double check. Sorcerer stock. And I have um, 170 hours in the game. So, and as you guys can see right here, this is my, U this is my PlayStation ID. So it's telling you who the save data belong to. That's me right there. So as you guys can see, we successfully transferred the save data. And that's basically everything you need to do. I hope that you guys find this uh, really helpful. Once again, I'm going to have all the necessary files that I use inside my Google Drive. I'm going to have a link down below in the video description. I'm sure you you could check all of that out so you could download and get you started. And the only thing is that you are also going to need once again a hack PS Vita as of now. I'm working into a different method to do this without having to have a hack a hack PS Vita just in case you guys don't own one. And I actually got the idea from one of the guys in the Vita 3K. His name is Sangetsu. He gave me the idea and I started doing some research and I found this method. But you need to have a hack PS Vita. He has a different method that he was able to do. I was trying to duplicate it, but I couldn't do it. But I, I'm going to put more research into that just in case you guys don't have a hack PS Vita. It will take me a while um, unless they adopt, adopt this, um, this method and they implement it into Vita 3K. But it's not. I'm going to do some research in that and try to help you guys out with that. But as of now, you need to have a hack PS Vita for this. Well, I hope you guys find this video useful and interesting. And please remember to like and subscribe. And I'm also going to leave down below in the description the link for the Vita 3K Discord so you guys can join. If you have any questions, you could jump into the Discord and... Probably we, you're going to get help from either me or somebody more experienced inside of the Discord community. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.